forget how the fuck that's measured. But yeah, this is, look at him. Look at him. Yeah. I love this figure. And this would be, this would probably be fighting for number one figure of the year for me. And, and definitely, I would say in my top five for sure because I love it that much. That man at arms is dope as hell. And yeah, these origins, like, I I hope there's no end in this this line's future either, or in the near future, because that would be a damn shame, because they have already been kicking ass with it. I don't care about the repaints. That's just more figures that we get to have for this line, you know, and give them time and let them bleed it out and make that money so they can give us everything we they want, all the vehicles we want, and, and, and the... And the uh, the play sets, you know, they gotta be able to construct that stuff. They gotta sell figures. So, come on, man, support them. Okay, so, God, we're gonna talk about Marvel Legends. And yikes, I guess, because this wouldn't be my number one favorite, but definitely one you can't ignore at all. But it's going to be the Marvel Legends What If Zombie Captain America. Uh. This is this would have to be, especially if I was doing Marvel Legends top ten or whatever. Uh, he would have to be there in the top ten somewhere, you know, because you can't deny this. You just can't. You can't ignore that. He's 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 had to have been in everybody's top tens or honorable mentions of this year. So just out of courtesy of that, because. You can't really argue it. <laughs> the only thing that would make this so much cooler is if it didn't have that Disney feel to it and more of a real darker zombie look, gritty, more gritty of a color. That would really take this thing over the top, but, you know, that's not what it was intended for, and, you know, that would... <laughs> but we've got blood. <laughs> we've got blood and bone and, and tissue, and this is an amazing figure here. So can't just walk away from it <laughs> yes gotta love this captain america and he moves well he looks great and he's a zombie the next one is something that i didn't even think i'd have much interest in but once i got it in the hand and started messing with it it really blew me away and i fell in love with this figure and a lot of people did too and it wasn't so much a sleeper one, but it's the uh, Game Reverse Miles Morales. This thing, you're just looking at it right there. I mean, he is, he's got your attention, right? And with these with these hands and the simplicity of the suit, but not just that. The way this thing is designed as the gamer one, it, it, this guy blends. He can blend so well. I feel like I can have this guy in my MCU fighting right next to uh, Tom Holland Spider-Man and it would look exceptional or I could have it in my comic one fighting along the comic you know retro Spidey and it would look good as hell so either way this is a win-win right here you could put this one anywhere the unmasked head sculpt looks really good um, whether it's accurate or not I don't care it looks Miles Morales enough to me and I, it really so fuck it this is a great figure right here, and the articulation on it is amazing. I can't believe the extent they went to for this Spider-Man. I mean, just the, the splits right there, split still, and then the kick forward. Uh, yeah, this, with the double-jointed knees, they're going to get some super range and kick his own ass. Aha. Uh -huh. He's got the butterfly joints. So you get some crossover going on. Hell, good range going back, going forward. Nice little twist. And that head does some shit. That's some cool stuff. So yes, this guy is amazing. And he comes with so many different hands. you got all the hands you could want, I guess, when it comes to this figure here. Um, accessories you might want more of, you know, like some webs or something like that or... But as far as hands and stuff goes, an unchangeable head, shit, you can't ask for a hell of a lot more. And, and a really good figure. So, yeah, definitely one of my favorites of the year right here. And this was just one that kind of blindsided me because I, I didn't even, I, I, I wasn't, I don't own the game. I wasn't keeping up on the game. Um, 
obviously I know Miles Morales and I do follow and support Miles Morales as Spider-Man. But as far as like expecting this kind of a figure and what its orientation is from, no, I didn't see that coming and I'm really glad we got it. So Miles Morales. So moving on, we're going to talk about, fuck it, this big mammer jammer right here, the Age of Apocalypse, build a figure Colossus. This thing is big and stout and beautiful, ketchup and mustard and silver. Oh, man, and he moves good, too. He's got really good articulation on him. And, like, this is probably, this was definitely a lot of people's top build a figure, number one build a figure of the year. Number one figure of year, top five, top ten. He was all over the place. This Colossus is undeniably a masterpiece, and everybody who's who's messed with it loves it because you can't not. And I mean, holy shit balls! So that would be he would be definitely one of those in my top fives, top threes, anyways, of Marvel Legends of the year for sure. If I had to uh, rank. <laughs> so. Uh, and it was something I really wanted. But the next figure. Oh, I forgot to leave Miles over here. The next figure. The number one spot really. The top favorite of the year. And maybe even of my lifetime. Is going to be I guess a, a pair. Because. They just can't really be one without the other. But if I only got one. It would have to be the Age of Apocalypse Magneto. And I know there's a lot of reuse here, but at the same time, there's so much originality to it. It is so good that it is it's so spot on. Same with Rogue. <gasps> Excuse me. That these, these guys right here are two of the figures that I wanted forever. I mean, if you're going to have a Magneto from Age of Apocalypse, you're going to want Rogue because that was his boo. And it was a beautiful romance. I loved. I did love the love story between these two. And same thing with Joseph, when that was a thing going on. Joseph and Rogue had a romance as well. Um, but yeah, um, I, I, I like that. There was something special about that to me back when I was a teenager. But Age of Apocalypse, I absolutely loved it because Magneto was the hero, and I always wanted a really good representation of an Age of Apocalypse Magneto figure. And finally, we got it. And <laughs> they gave us enough with it, too, that I was satisfied. The extra head, the interchangeable hands, the effects pieces. <sighs> I mean, damn, this thing was really good. So, and, and, and with the, uh, the unmasked head, you can take maybe chances. You can do customs of Joseph or something like that. The Rogue, I love it. It's, it's got such a unique... Very, few, very little reuse because there's a lot of new sculpt here for the boots and the shoulder, you know, the arms and stuff, and the head. Obviously, she looks beautiful. I love this rogue right here. Um, a cape would be nice, which I can, I can get one. It's not no big deal if I really want to have that, <laughs> and maybe Baby Charles or something. But yeah, this is this is freaking awesome right here. These this would definitely be my number one figure of the year, hands down. I, I and that's because of my love for Magneto. Period, not because you know uh, design wise or whatever. It's the greatest action figure of 2021, you know, or, or sculpt and detail and paint. It's, it's not all that. It's just simply because I love Magneto, and especially H of Apocalypse Magneto. So that's just, that's it, that's it. Whether anything's better than that or not is irrelevant to me. This is the one right here, and it's forever, throughout the years, going to stay as my ultimate Magneto, my favorite Magneto, favorite action figure of all time, probably. I'll always come back to this, like the, this, that, that right there. Yeah, you know, so he wins hands down for me. <laughs> and the fact that they gave us Rogue to be side by side with him in the same line, and the builder figure was Colossus, which turned out to be amazing. Yeah, I was one real happy camper this year when it came to the X Men. Early on, we had the Tri Sentinel builder figure, and we had a Magneto in there. It was the white version, and I well, I wasn't all impressed. I mean, even though it was still Magneto, and I love Magneto, but yeah, I wasn't impressed. This was the guy I was waiting for. So yeah. That's probably going to wrap it up. This video went on way longer than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I, 
And I hope you guys liked it, man. Um, maybe it was insightful. Um, hope you guys liked some of the figures that I that I checked out. And let me know what you guys think of them. If you like this video, hit that like button. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think of the video and what you think of these figures. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace.